In order to see the function of each component more clearly, let's divide the URD system into three sections. The first section consists of the connection between the primary feeder and the URD system. The second section consists of the transformers. The third section is the secondary service to the customer. Well, now let's take a closer look at the components in each of these sections. We'll start with the first section, where the overhead line connects to the URD system. The actual connection between an overhead system and a URD system is made at the cable pole with a device known as a pothead. A pothead is designed to connect to the overhead primary on one end and to the URD primary cable on the other end. Potheads protect the connection between the two systems. They also provide a termination for the URD cable insulation. In addition to a pothead, many cable poles are equipped with a disconnect switch. This switch provides a point which can be opened or closed, allowing all or part of the URD system to be energized or de-energized. When a URD system is fed from an underground feeder rather than an overhead line, the connection between the two is typically made with a pad-mounted switch, like this. In this type of system, there are two types of pad-mounted switches. The first is an oil-filled spring-operated switch. It's used to energize or de-energize cables that feed various parts of the system. The second kind of pad-mounted switch used in this system is known as a transclosure. In this system, transclosures are used to connect the ends of the URD loop to an underground feeder. Generally, there are two, one at each end of the loop. Switching points that allow sections of underground cable to be energized or de-energized are known as tap holes. Tap holes are mounted in vaults below ground. If the cable connectors are mounted in one position on the conductor strip of the tap hole, power will be routed through the strip and the entire cable will be energized. However, moving one connector to an insulated, unenergized bushing creates a physical break in the conductor, and the section of cable beyond the tap hole is de-energized. 